This is the future of power banks and VMAT batteries, and this is the way to go. Pixel has done it. Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today we're looking at this guy from Pixel, it's a VMAT battery and I think it's worth taking a look at. Alright, if you're here for the first time, you're welcome. We want to see what Pixel has for us. If you know Pixel, they do some accessories, I think, they, uh, I think mainly lights. Um, I know a few of the light gadgets. Um, this would be a good, uh, you know, option to power some of the lights and use for your camera and stuff like that. But there was something that really drew me to this, and I want to share that with you. First of all, it's called the Holden V99. Yeah, 48.8 volts, overcharge protection, overheat protection, short circuit protection, over discharge protection, <laughs> um, over power protection over voltage protection over current protection and removal of overload condition and uh, automatic recovery that's a lot to claim all right i hope we can justify all the claims but there's a lot of uh, over over and uh, protection protection okay so let's open this guy up first of all not a bad size, but I hope it is a lot smaller uh, because uh, these are not the days where you, it's still, it's still portable, but I really hope, I really hope it's a lot smaller. So let's go. Okay. What's in the box? All right. There must be some things in this package. I'm going to put that down. We'll come back to it. I want to see the size before I proceed. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. Really? Now, this might just be the smallest I've ever had. Look at this. Wow. And I love this thing about it. It has two USB on top of it. I can just connect my um, devices, whatever I need to charge from that and then detap you know if i'm not taking from the plate directly i can take from here but i love this option of the two additional power although it's not a big power draw but there's something here that is of interest let's take a look usb type c now this will be my first device with a usb type c um the only ones that used to have were the nanos which are very expensive a lot more expensive than these guys um but this is this is just perfect i'll write the weight i'll i'll wait i'll wait up oh my god this is definitely the lightest i've ever had it's got a screen um led screen and let's see what's in here confirm that it's usb oh no it is usb type c here and usb type a here so great great option and uh i think i love it I'll show you clips of um, whatever test I do with it. I'll show you clips of the camera and then write any other information I needed to light. But I'm loving it already. The size is great, lightweight, and uh, over protection for everything. Let's look at what comes in the box. All right, I told you we'll check this later. So there's the user manual. Okay, you should go through it. <laughs> okay, so this is USB Type C cable, and the last but not the least, yeah, USB Type A cable. So um, let me see if it's USB to US, uh, USB Type C. So which are they already giving you options to connect to your devices, and they gave you the cables to connect them. Um, these things are yellow coded and usually it means they have some, yes, PD power. That was another thing. It, it is PD powered. The VMAT battery that is also a power bank. That's what this guy is. Wow. Listen, 
When you charge this thing, you can collect the USB Type-C into um, using the WIPU um, stuff. Oh, this is perfect for the Cisco Pro and your Cisco 4K cameras. You connect it to, to through the WIPU power cable for the uh, Blackmagic cameras and this will power up the camera. It also has a D-Tap. Three things we need to know. It has a D-Tap. You can use it at your VMAT battery. It has a USB Type-C, um, which you could power your Blackmagic cameras like uh, a PD bank. You could power your laptop and every devices that uses PD power. And uh, you know, some connections may not work. Now this, you might want to hold on to these wires because um, not every cable are PD cables. If you look at, if you look at these uh, cables, especially this one USB type C to USB type A, it is coded uh, in orange. It, it may just mean that um, your regular cables will not power them. So you want to hold on to them. I think it's power coded. And the two power ports, if you look at them, they are, they are coded orange. And I think uh, usually they will work. Okay, now this one is regular. This port is regular. And this one is coded PD. So this is PD powered. The window is not written, but from the color code, from my experience with these devices, that has, that's how it works. This is regular power, USB type C. So we have two USB type C's. Um, I'll write it on the screen and we'll show, um, do the test and see what works and what doesn't. Now, I made a video about, about stuff like this, about the PD uh, power banks stepping up and uh, you know, actually merging um, the technology. And this is something that is in, it's in that direction. This is the future of power banks and VMAT batteries, and this is the way to go. Pixel has done it, and I'll get some more of these guys. More power, that's what we need now, and um, we are good to go. Let me know if you've seen this before, because this is the, I think this is the first VMAT from Pixel. giveaway going on I, I believe this um i think by the time this video comes out this giveaway will still be on um i'll put the link uh, to the video so you check out if you are subscribed you can win it there's always on this channel there's always a giveaway we are giving away 49 items and when i do this when i give this one out it will be 48 left and i stay connected be attentive don't just subscribe and disappear because you will miss a lot um like subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one peace